Привет, меня зовут Дмитрий. Hello, my name is Dmitry, and welcome to this video. Today I'd like to show you how to optimize this step preceding the wavelength allocation we discussed in the first video, traffic grooming at its best, and with the application programming interface of PPI Link Configurator. Your networks is our passion, let us groom them. Typically, in VPI Link Configurator, you go from physical and logical topology definition through wavelength allocation and equipment configuration to performance assessment and report generation. At each step, VPI Link Configurator helpfully provides the design automation tools that simplify and accelerate the design process. At the first step in Link Configurator, you typically specify connectivity requests for the line side. But what if you do not know yet which line rate should be used? To develop our grooming metaphor, you would like to know what kind of horses and carriages, or taxis and buses in modern terms, should carry your passengers from point A to point B. Should it be extremely sensitive Arabian horses or less refined carriage horses? And let us not forget that you do not even have the road from A to B yet. And on top of it, money is an issue, so you need to save costs. So, you have a client-side connectivity matrix and would like to either use a low number of wavelengths of optical channels passing through the WDM network or build a configuration which will lead eventually to a lower cost of equipment, for instance, transponders and muxponders. And yes, I need to tell you this traffic grooming problem is an integer linear problem or ILP, just in case you want to be forewarned. A little spoiler here, you do not have to solve the ILP yourself nowadays. Instead, you can easily get assistance and then lean back and relax. And the groom today is a nice script written in basic that automates traffic grooming. In other words, the script does the mapping of client-side connectivity requests to line-side services using the application programming interface of VPI Link Configurator. Let me show you how it can enhance the system design for you. The initial configuration contains 52 client service requests of different signal rates and 16 wavelengths were used if we applied one-to-one -one mapping. The question is if it is possible to use fewer wavelengths in this design to at a lower cost of the line transceivers. Are you curious? Let's now see what the script is worth. As a matter of fact, the script reads the initial channel assignment, does the routing, groups the initial services by their light paths, estimates the OSNR degradation for each pass in both directions, analyzes available line rates and the OSNR thresholds of line transceivers. And finally, it groups client services into the channels according to the mapping matrix. Another spoiler here. Actually, in the last two steps, the ILP is solved through the use of a third-party software designed to solve linear problems. Now we want the results. Here we are. Now we have a new channel assignment table with fewer channels of higher rates. Initially, there were 52 client services of lower rates. As you can see, now they are transmitted using only 15 line services of higher rates and only five wavelengths are used. So there you have it. The point is that we've just built a cost-effective solution for the client-side service mapping problem within several clicks. And that was done using the powerful API of VPI Link Configurator. What is also important is that API of VPI Link Configurator allows you to implement various algorithms that automate different steps of network design workflow. For instance, the algorithms define physical and logical topology of an optical network, do routing and wavelength assignment, and configure optical equipment. And they will generate solutions according to your specific engineering rules, taking into account any design constraints you might have. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumb up. We are happy to receive your feedback. See you in the next video.